Today I want to show you how to make this unicorn sign using markers and alcohol. So Hi, this is Angie with Grandma Creates, where we find lasting connections with grandchildren through DIY projects, crafts, recipes, books, and all kinds of activities. What you'll need to make this project are, are some Sharpies, and I use this package, it's called Electro Pop, um, because I'm making a unicorn, so I wanted it pastels. And then you'll need some rubbing alcohol, and I'm using the 91%, um, because I, I heard that that works better, so that's why I'm using that. And then I have this syringe that I'm going to try. I'm not sure if it'll work or not, so... Um, what I'm doing now is just marking all over the canvas using my uh, the Sharpies and I'm just getting a good coverage. I started doing this pattern um, and then I realized after a little bit that I don't want the whole pattern like that. I just want it to be all over the place with the color. So kind of on the bottom I just did a little just a random um, colors all over the place. I tried a couple different colors on top of each other. It doesn't look the greatest right now, but it will look beautiful, so just keep watching. Uh, so I just applied the colors as... I tried to get light next to the dark. I didn't want to get two, two lights and two darks um, at the same time, so that's why I did there. Now I'm starting to use a syringe. I dipped it, or put, put alcohol in it, the rubbing alcohol, and I started putting it all over, and it didn't work out. So I just stopped that, and I just started pouring it on there. So I just poured a bunch on there. It may have been too The more you pour on there, the lighter the colors will be. So about this first time I've ever done this, so I just thought I'd just try it to see what I did. I just kind of rubbed the alcohol in where there's places that were really dry, and then you see I have a lot of alcohol on there. I end up pouring most of that into the sink. Um, but I just want to get a good coverage. While I'm waiting for the alcohol to dry, it'll take about 30 minutes, I'm going to uh, cut out my stencil for the project. And what I'm going to cut is a unicorn. Uh, it's my granddaughter's first birthday next month, and I want to make her some signs to put behind her and do a little photo shoot with her. So I'm um, going to make this unicorn. I cut out my stencil. I'm weeding it. Uh, so I'm just taking away the things that I don't need, the parts that I don't need. Um, I put some words inside. Uh, so I'm just weeding those right now. It, sometimes it takes a little while. Sometimes it grabs the little pieces. So you have to really watch what you're doing on that. Um, so I'm just... I just did a, a couple of words. The trick to these words is you want to make them a little bit thicker. Uh, some of these words are pretty thin and what I did was make them a little bit thicker because um, the thin words won't, the paint won't uh, go through well with that. So I laid out my transfer tape and then I just put the my stencil over that. I'm making sure it's um, stuck down really well. This is pretty old transfer tape, so as you can see, it doesn't stick down as well as what new transfer transfer tape would. Um, but I'm just using that uh, scraper and just scraping, make sure everything's all stuck down really well, especially with the design. And just cutting away the excess. I'm going to um, scrape some more just to make sure that it's stuck, and it will transfer with the tape. I'm laying it down on the canvas that's, uh, that's dry. I'm going to use the hinge method to, um, to put my transfer, my design onto my canvas, which what that is, is, you can see the tape in the middle, make sure it's nice and straight. And then I just cut away the back of the stencil. And as you can see, my design came up with the transfer tape. That's what we want. And then I smooth the design down onto the canvas. So that half will stick like that. And then you can take away that, that tape. I use painter's tape. 
um, you just take away the tape. And if you notice right here, I am putting something underneath it because it has a frame on this canvas. So I'm just putting my laptop down there because it's um, just about as big as the canvas. And that will make the make it stick better. And um, so that's why I usually put books or my laptop or something like that on it, just so it'll make it stick better on there. Because canvas is really hard. Uh, the vinyl is really hard to stick to canvas. And I just peeled away the tape. And I did the same thing with the other side. I just made sure it stuck really well. It usually does. Um, so here I'm just... It, it's, it takes a lot to to make sure that it sticks because as you can see with the canvas and the paint, it doesn't like to stick onto it. So you just have to really work with it. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a quite a bit of time to get that up or to make sure that that design stays down there but you just have to work with it really slow start with the corner and go up and eventually it all stays down on there you smooth it as you go It just takes a little bit of time, but it'll eventually, I'll see, you see it all goes down there. Um, I like to go ahead and try to get as much down as I can with my, with, with my scraper. And then I'll turn to just using my fingers, just try to, to make sure everything's down really good because you don't want that, that uh, paint, because you're going to see that I'm going to paint over this, you don't want it to bleed through um, onto your canvas. And this is the, the reason why I didn't worry about the edges, you'll see in a minute, is because I'm just going to paint over it. And I had to use a little painter's tape on the unicorn because there was a hole in the, the stencil, so I didn't want my paint to go through that hole. And what I did here is I used the excess paint, the most paint, on the edges and then as I was, it was, the paint was going off there, that's when I used that to uh, my brush where it's a little bit dry to start with the, the stencil and then I just worked my way out of the stencil. I, I went in and I worked my way out so that way it doesn't bleed through the inside of it. And for the words, I just did some, I pounced the brush onto the words. It, that makes it where it won't bleed as much. What I will do next time is probably use chalk paint because I did have three coats of paint on this. Like I said, I let it, let it dry for 30 minutes. And then I removed the stencil. And this is the, this is my favorite part. Because you'll see why, what your design looks like afterwards. As you can see, it all came up pretty well. There's a couple of spots that bled through, but that's okay. Uh, what I did there was just even it out with white paint, so you can't, you can't really tell. I'm weeding out the middle of the words, and if you notice, it actually looks really good. I'm really pleased with the way that looks. I'm definitely going to have to make another one. And that's it. That's the finished product. Isn't it beautiful? I hope you enjoyed that and I'm excited for my grandkids to try that. It's just really easy. I think that they're going to love that. Um, I'm going to have them write all over the canvas and with the marker and I'm going to have them try it for themselves. And we'll see the magic whenever the alcohol touches the, the markers and I think they're going to love it. So until next time, thanks.